Hey guys, welcome in this first video of a series of videos in which we're going to create an entire web app UI kit from scratch. Now, this first video is going to be super exciting because it's going to be essentially where we're going to establish the visual direction of the entire web app. So there's going to be a lot of exploration and things of that nature. and. The goal for this web app, I want to keep it kind of broad since it's a UI kit, but it's going to be a web visual editor kind of feeling. So uh, this is going to be the theme, but we're going to create also other screens which aren't uh, deeply related, but that can kind of like uh, uh, go into it. So the software which we're going to use is going to be Sketch. And the reason being is that uh, previously I used Figma for another iOS UI kit. And uh, my goal was to share it also with uh, Sketch users and Adobe XD users but uh, I noticed that Figma files are very hard to translate to, to Sketch in Adobe XD and um, Sketch is actually very very easy because uh, importing it to Figma in Adobe XD um, is uh, really easy and uh, requires minor tweaks uh, so this is the reason why we're going to use Sketch uh, and uh, yeah guys without further ado let's jump into the video because I'm really looking forward to get started all right so as we're starting out uh, i'm just going to create uh, the very first uh, basic wireframe for this page and then after that i'm going to create the visual design now i already had uh, an idea of uh, the wireframe before starting this video so i'm kind of like jumping right onto it and um, i also did some uh, visual exploration and um, took inspiration from uh, different visual directions where I could uh, um, kind of go with this uh, uh, UI kit and um, the visual direction I created it from scratch but I always like to kind of have a look around on maybe Behance, Dribo, Moosely or other websites just to see some uh, cool designs and to really just uh, you know kickstart my imagination and visualization process even before starting the project so essentially we're going to create uh, this design in uh, sketch and the reason being is that i want to also make it available for figma and adobe xt and uh, i figured out that the easiest uh, workflow would be to use sketch because um, i can easily import uh, um, the final file into figma and adobe xt and although there's going to be some things like you know, symbols, nested symbols, which aren't going to be uh, able to be translated uh, um, exactly the same. Um, it's still going to be really, um, really, really good and uh, much better than if I actually created in Figma or in Adobe XD from the start, because based on my experience, it's kind of tricky to, to then import it into Sketch, especially. Um, I tried to create the SVGs and then import it, but yeah, it's just a cumbersome uh, workflow. So that's the reason why we are using uh, Sketch. And um, my goal for the design system in uh, this uh, UI kit uh, is uh, just to create something very, very basic. And uh, the reason being is that, uh, um, as I mentioned, I want to import it also in Figma and Adobe XD so that uh, a lot of users can uh, can use this uh, UI kit and uh, I don't want to create something which is super uh, specific and uh, time consuming in Sketch uh, and uh, you know having uh, an inferior product in Figma in Adobe XD so the decision is to create uh, a very very basic um, uh, kind of uh, you know design system we're not going to go too crazy with symbols we're not we're definitely not going into a lot of nested symbols and stuff like that if at all so even textiles color styles it's going to keep it basic you're still going to learn a lot in this video series but don't expect uh, um, a lot uh, in uh, that front so as you can see i'm creating the very first uh, you know basic wireframe this is going to be the websites page and uh, this website this uh, page is going to feature a lot of different websites and uh, as you can see i'm using uh, nuclear icons uh, it's going to be some uh, google material icons and also some nuclear icons 
So in this uh, in this case, uh, we're going to go with uh, some nucleo, and uh, the font which I use for this series is uh, Lato, which is a Google Web font, free and amazing, in my opinion for UI design, very good at responsive sizes. So yeah, guys, this is it, and um, I'll just give you some music as you enjoy the rest of the tutorial.